Hello, and welcome to another episode of Just Jordan Things, where I have a shopping problem. Just kidding, that's why you're here. I ordered more things on Timu, and yes, this is more of me spending my own money, not them sponsoring me. Even though they did sponsor me on the last one I did, if they want to sponsor me again, I'll, I'll continue doing it, because I'm obsessed. This is the first time I've ordered clothes off of Timu. We're going to check the quality. I've been hesitant to do this. I didn't want to order clothes off of Timu. We've all seen what happens. We all saw the hot Lulu. So we're gonna see. We're gonna test it out. I've heard mixed reviews. People got good stuff, people got bad stuff. And honestly, the way that the quality is so similar to Amazon, I had to try it out. So that's what we're doing today. And we got Halloween stuff in this box. So let's get to it. This one came extremely fast. I ordered this less than a week ago. Well, maybe exactly a week ago. And it came, look at he split. I ordered curtains. So we got a lot of different fabric textile things in this one. I ordered shirt, I ordered fabric, curtains, and I ordered seat covers for my car because I get hot butt. Sun beats down on my black car. I don't have tinted windows right now. And the leather seats, they just get, they get spicy. And then I sit down in my shorts or my skirt and get hot butt. We got something to fix it. I got two different layers of curtains so that I can make the blackout effect. In my bedroom, I ordered two panels so that I can do the full length of the window. If you've been following along, we've been redoing our living room and bedroom for quite some time now. So finding decorating items on a discounted price is definitely something I'm always gonna consider. And the thing with thrifting, like, yes, could I go out and thrift this? But it is so much harder to find specifics when you're thrifting. And sometimes you gotta sacrifice time or money or budget, right? Also bought a wall bracket to hang them with. Ooh, <gasps> okay. Next up, we bought some stuff for the kitchen. This is a cute little magnet clip holder. So they're like bag clips, but they stay in this little magnet holder that goes on your fridge. So they're easily accessible, one, and they look like French fries. You guys know me. I love anything that looks like another thing. That's a terrible way to explain it, but cute things that look like other things, but are really something else. That's a very specific way of knowing if I'm gonna like something or not. Let's put these up on the fridge. It's a decently strong enough magnet and they're in a paper container so I feel like you got to be delicate with them but they're pretty darn cute and I like the size of these compared to the ones I use right now at Ikea these are the ones that I wish I had more of in the bag but the small ones are what come more in the bag so this is the length if we're comparing these are about the same so pretty happy with these. More kitcheny things. We've got an avocado saver. They've got these weird like stretchy top that helps seal in your avocado. There is also a trick. If you leave the pit in your avocado or your guacamole, you can put the pit in your guacamole and it will not turn brown. I also got a couple different sizes. There's a red one. I like to color code them. This is for tomatoes. I guess technically if we're color coding. And then this brown one is for onions. I am sick and tired of my beeswax wraps getting moldy because we didn't realize there was an onion sitting in the fridge. So now I can see it. Oh, and then I guess there's another small one, I think for garlic or lemons. I never know what to do with the other half of a lemon once I cut it open or I start zesting it because if it only calls for half a lemon, wrap it in plastic wrap, I don't wanna do that. Reusable, we'll try it. Let's bring these guys into the kitchen. I have a tomato and I'm gonna have to slice it open anyway to eat it tonight. So for the sake of science and testing, here we go. We're gonna test this out. Uh, I'm gonna rinse this, hold on. All right, what we have come to discover is this is not a uh, open up this way. They're all, twist off. How did I not realize that when I first did it? What's in here? Hold on. Why are there brown marks in here? You see that? This is why you rinse things up before you use them. Interesting. Tomato. Stretch. Interesting. Okay. You're squishing my tomato. It's okay. It's a, it's a big tomato. You weren't prepared for this. Okay. It's not actually damaging the tomato. Let's see. There we go. Okay, it's in there. Creates a nice little seal over the top of it, which is neat. And I, it doesn't seem like it's squishing it down and like, like compromising my tomato. Can I put two tomatoes? Now we're just stretching it past the limits of what it was intended for. All right, not, not two tomatoes. Not two tomatoes, one tomato. Ooh, we got some jewelry too. I'll save that for the very end so I can get a close up on all of it. Here's the big boy. This is the car seat cover. First impression of the fabric, it's just kind of like bleh but I don't need it to be nice. 
nice. It's got like a little squish into it, but it's not like a memory foam, you know, luxury seat. It's simply supposed to cover the leather so it doesn't burn my butt. I think it's gonna do a job. It's got a little bit of that like rubbery grippy stuff on the bottom. Uh, it doesn't really have any other way to attach than just like sitting there. So that little grippy part definitely needs to be there. Otherwise I'll be slipping and sliding all over the seat. And then this is a set with the back seat cover as well, which I wanted because little Daisy Dukers likes to get hair all over my back seat. And she gets hot butt too. I don't want her to get burned. The reason I chose these ones is because they have these little front flaps and I don't I'll ever actually use them. But the opportunity to put something there seemed appealing. So why not try it? All right, hello, we're in my vehicle. We're testing these. I'm gonna stick these on my seat. The slide test is doing great. The leathery parts, what do you mean who am I talking to? You're talking to me? No, I'm not talking to you. Who are you talking to? I'm talking to the camera. Oh. <laughs> my mom's in town. It's like she doesn't know what we do for a living. So they're not wiggling around, which is nice. They're not gonna slide. They got that little bit of grip, which is really good. Okay, they're not gonna slide here. I'm confused now. I feel like these little straps could go through the back and like loop onto something. I don't know what though. I'm just gonna shove them in there, see if that's enough. Oh yeah, so much better. No, they're not going anywhere. It's nice, I like it. Does my phone fit in the front pouch? Yes. Am I gonna forget my phone here at some point? Yes, I am. But it's okay, because this is how we find it. Look, I didn't forget my phone anywhere, it's not lost. How do you how do you like it? They kind of match my seats You're gonna too. hate them. Why? Because this is gonna flappy flap up all the time. I'm gonna be sitting on it. It's not gonna go anywhere. You're getting in and out. This is gonna flappy flap no, it's up. Look, it's fine. Getting in. It does catch a little bit here when you're getting in, but it folds right back down when you fold over. So honestly, as long as I don't burn my thighs on my car seat, I'm happy. These are a win. She's just jealous because she lives in hot butt land. Moving on. Ah, here are the other curtains. Let's see if they're actually gonna work well together. So these are slightly more sheer, but in the same kind of color category. Yeah, I like them together. So when you double them up, they'll become like very black out. They'll block out all the sun, but just independently, like I can bring some soft light into our bedroom. That, that was kind of my, what I was going for. Bing. Can an interior designer help me out? If you're an interior designer, please leave a comment. Do you think these go together well? Do you like them? The rest of what my bedroom looks like, that's not, that's not important, right? You don't need to know what everything else is. Definitely not a boho rattan bedroom, so. Oh, I know what this one is. This is a wine glass holding cheese platter. Of all the things that you could define as like a, a need in this world or even a want, this is way outside of any of those realms. But how cute is that? So let me show you. It's got the little sections for different cheeses, grapes. You can carry things outside and then your wine glass goes right like that. How adorable. How cute is that? Unnecessary? Yes. Cute for a little party? 100%. I also think this would make a super cute gift for someone. It's kind of unique. It's different. It encourages self-love, right? Go out and drink some wine and eat some cheese on the patio. Amazing. 10 out of 10. Here's another piece of jewelry, more kitchen stuff. These are reusable Ziploc baggies. They do have the little food safe insignia here, and I do believe that they are silicone. Honestly, I'm gonna be using these for things like marinating meats because I don't like single-use plastic. Ziploc baggies are so unreliable, first of all, sometimes in the fridge when there's liquids and you're depending on it not to leak and then you accidentally punctured it with your long nails and then it's leaking juices and marinade all over your kitchen that you have to then clean up. That's a very unspecific scenario that definitely hasn't happened to me before. But these are great. And also, if you go on picnics, going to the beach, these are great. Oh, here are those brackets that I got. They hold two poles so that you can have dual layers of your curtain. I guess I'll just make Grant hang them and load the poles up there so that I can actually show you. And yes, he's the person that hangs everything in the household because I'm the one that bakes everything in the household and he's tall. Ooh, these are really cute. I feel like I'm going to lose these after the first time that we use them, but they're a really cool idea. And it matches some other decor that I have in my house. We need the wine glass again. Honestly, I should just fill it up at this point. These are color-coded wine glass markers or glass markers. I guess they can be on any glass. They don't need to be on a wine glass, but they're little paint drips. How cool is that? I can't tell you how many times we're like, Oh, is that your glass or is that my glass? I don't know. These are gonna help. These are gonna fix that problem. Now we're all gonna be color-coded. Beautiful, I love them. And yes, they match the drippy table, the drippy coffee table that I have 
in my living room. I like themes. I don't know if you realized that, but uh, super cool. They're a little rubbery and silicone, so they're not hard plastic, which is nice, which means they'll be easy to wash, easy to take off, easy to put on, and they're not gonna break somewhere. Like the plastic ones that I've seen, 10 out of 10. I can store them on my bar cart. <gasps> Ooh, I got a meal planning notebook that we can leave on the counter, and I can write out all of the plans for the week after I go to the grocery store. If you know me, I'm a planner. That's what I do. I have to because I have ADHD, and I have been recently trying out new recipes doing new things, buying things at the grocery store that I have no idea what to do with once I buy them and look in my fridge two days later and can't remember what my plan was it for. So this is going to help with that. I get, hello, do you expect this to be for you? Because every box is usually a chewy box and it has a treat for you in it. I said the word, I have to go give her one now. Hold please. Do you want a toothbrush? Oh, she went to her spot. What a good girl. All right, so yes, weekly meal planner that we can lay out on the couch. And that way, when Grant comes up to me and is like, what are we eating for dinner this week? It'll be all right here. We can build it together. We can do it on Sundays, our little debrief day. And with that, I also got these recipe cards, which I should have looked at how many were in here before I ordered. There's only 10 of them. I'm gonna fill this up real quick. But for the price that I paid for them, I could just order more if they work. It's a good trial size. We'll spin it that way. Getting organized in the kitchen, importante. These things are little rips. So they got a sticky back or you can screw them in, I believe. But you put a towel in here and then you can have your towels up on your counter in a less obnoxious place. I'm gonna use them for my dishwashing gloves because my dishwashing gloves always end up falling into the sink. And then I have to throw them away because then there's mildew inside the fingertips. I don't want that. So I'm going to use this and put them up above the sink so that I can store my dishwashing gloves better. They can also go on the inside of your cabinet underneath your sink and store towels or little baggies or your dishwashing gloves there. So these are super cool. Let's put you right there. All right, let's see what you hold. Here is one glove and oh gosh, oh gosh. I'm gonna hold. Oh yeah, okay. That's nice, that's nice. There we go, I love it. It's stuck on there. These, easy enough to get out. You gotta get like this ridge in there. That'll do it. Maybe this isn't as easy as I thought. Nothing helps with these nails, but if I can do it with these nails and honestly, like without tugging too hard on it, it's just gonna sit there. So I'm gonna consider that a win. Here we have Dozer and Daisy just basking in the sunshine. Daisy's patiently waiting to bother Dozer as soon as he gets up off the table. Hi buddy, are you causing trouble? Are you antagonizing Daisy? She seems to think so. What is this thing? Oh, these are little flipper holders that you can put by the door. They also have stickers on the back of them. You stick it to the wall and then you hang your slippers over them like this. Hold on, let me go get a pair of slippers and I'll show you. Slippers, sandals, they all work the same. So the wall, I'm the wall. So your slippers or sandals can just go like this, store them right on the wall. So you don't need a bulky shoe rack, but you can also keep your slippers that you keep right by the door to let your dog outside handy. I promise you it's not for you. You can, you can smell it all you want. You're not going to enjoy it. All right, here's our corner of nonsense that I'm gonna try to fix with these. I have a feeling it's not gonna do enough, but alas, here we go. Oh gosh, don't just willy-nilly stick to the wall. Pick the right place, pick the right place. That feels like the right spot, okay. I needed to let it set first. That's something that they always say, don't use for like 12 hours or something. So we'll come back to this. I'm gonna let it sit up here. I might have already broken it. We're gonna blame Grant's heavy shoes. Grant's shoes are too heavy. That's the problem. Oh, okay, texture on the wall might also be a significant problem. This is turning into a fail video. I'll come back. Okay, update. It was the gotta let it sit for at least like an hour or two before it sticks. So uh, next day, they totally stick up on the wall. We're great. This is this is gonna be so handy. Oh, my car key cover. I got another car key cover because I got this exact one in green for Christmas. But when Grant was putting it on my keys, he didn't realize that there was a back piece. And so he threw it away. So I got a new one so I can have the back piece with it so that my key actually looks like it's all one color instead of two-toned. So this is the most direct comparison I can do off of the Timu product and the Amazon product. This one was bought off of Amazon during Christmas time. This one was bought off of Timu. They are the exact same. And yeah, see, it's missing. What else is in the box? We'll get to the shirts all together. I feel like there's still more in here. This is fancy. Oh, oh, 
Oh, this, we're getting super organized. I was on a very let's get organized binge when I was ordering this stuff. This is a calendar or desk organizer. So it comes with a little shelf and then it has little tear off weekly papers of the week that you can write tasks that you need to do. It's got a built-in ruler, which is kind of neat. Although I will say it's a little annoying that it folds down. This is the days of the week and then this is where it folds. I'm still gonna use the heck out of it though because I write in post-it notes everywhere and have a million to-do lists. So this is gonna be really handy and it matches the aesthetic of my desk. And I really like that it comes on a little stand. So it's not sitting down flat in the way you can move it like up and actually visualize it. I'm gonna try it out. We're gonna see how it works. Exfoliating gloves. We're gonna try them. We're gonna see how well the Timu ones compare to, I don't know, the Target ones that I've ordered before. I feel like they're gonna be basically the same. I just, I just wanna exfoliate my body. Is that too much to ask for? I'll let you know. Along with that, we got a shower drain cover. And I like this one because it's a little bit bigger than the ones that you usually see. And it has little suction cups and it's not just sitting on there. So you can like suction cup it to the ground. We have a standing shower thing where the drain's in the middle of the, I'll show you. So hopefully that works. All right. Ta-da! Suction cup these guys down. Maybe they need a little water. Is this the right way? I feel like it is. Oh, oh, that one worked, that one worked. Okay, can't be on a grout mark, which is difficult. That's annoying. Hey. Here I thought it was gonna be better that it was slightly bigger than the other ones I found, but maybe I need to get the smaller one so it sticks to the metal of the actual drain and not try to stick it on the surrounding tile. It's not sticking on any tile at all. Okay, I hate it. It's terrible. It was a fail. I need a smaller one. Hooray! What did I order? <gasps> did I order art? I ordered art. These are not what I expected. Um, I feel like these are pictures of wood pieces that are just printed on some like thicker canvas paper. Not what I wanted. Not going to be able to use them. I need to read listings better before I buy things. I do feel like I can like paint these or something. Put them to good use. Paint these to something more aesthetic for my wall. But yeah, these are not, that's not what I wanted. One of the thing that's in the picture, not that. They can all be wins. That's why we get real reviews here. Man, when I order things that I have to build, it's always so complex. Oh, I think this is the little shelf that I ordered for my kitchen counter because it's a hot mess over there. Alas, alas it is. And it comes with a screw and a bunch of things that I'm gonna have to figure out how to put together. Eventually, not today. Not right now. Daisy, leave Dozer alone. Dozer doesn't wanna play with you, I'm so sorry. Don't yell at me. Ma'am, she's mad that Dozer won't play with her, but Dozer never plays with her, so I don't understand why you're upset. I, ma'am. <sighs> Next up, this is for pot lids. This goes on the inside of your cabinet where you store your pots and pans for all of the lids so that they are more easily accessible and you can find the size that you need. It was funny, Grant was just talking about ordering one of these. He was like, oh, I should order one of those pot lid things. And I looked at him, I was like, it's gonna be here on Tuesday. We read each other's minds, but I'm faster. All right, more jewelries and accessories. And then this. Now we're starting to get into the spooky stuff. These are going to be perfect for a Halloween party. I know I talked about spooky stuff in the beginning and then this whole time it's just, it hasn't been any spooky things. And you're like, Jordan, where's all the spooky things? Here they are, we're starting spooky. These are food toothpicks. These are little ants and you put little skewers of things on top of them. So you can put little cherry tomatoes, you can put little mozzarella bottles. Look how adorable they are. They're little ants, they're so cute. I love them so much. Spooky shirts, first one up. I love it. Um, it's a bit thin of a shirt material. This is iron-on sticker. I can't explain. It's not like a regular iron-on thing. I feel like this is gonna be like one wash, it's done, but it's cute. But yeah, it's like a plastic. It feels like this is just like a sticker someone put on here. We'll see how it washes. I don't have high hopes for this, but the design was so cute. I couldn't resist. Honestly, like a two out of 10. Unless it washes fine and it proves me wrong, two out of 10 for the first one. This one's a little better. This one's a little better. It's the size is not what I, okay, maybe this is a men's size now because the first one, here's the first one. That's a, a woman's size small. The next one, significantly bigger. So I feel like it's the men's size small, but it's a better quality shirt, barely. And the iron-on print is actually like a regular iron-on print. I don't feel like it's like a sticker, but spooky gardening time, cute. I like it. I feel like this is worth it. This is worth it. And Grant and I can both wear it. And to the last one, it's supposed to be a small. Again, I guess Grant has another shirt. 
I'll steal it for bedtime, but look how stinking cute. This is the best quality out of all of them, of the shirt. That print still feels like it's like a sticker slapped on that, like the bigger pieces. I don't, I can't figure out how to describe to you what this feels like. If it, it was like a decal for something that you put on a shirt instead of like an iron-on transfer onto a shirt, does that make any sense? I hope I'm making sense. Two out of 10. Two out of 10 t-shirts off of Timu. Not impressed, not happy. I expected this to happen, but I'm a little disappointed because I fell in love with the shirts. I wanted spooky shirts. Let's see if they can make it up with jewelry. That Maybe that's why I saved the jewelry for the end. There's just, there's Timu everywhere. All right, I'll bring you guys in closer to see all of the jewelry that I bought. I bought some rings the last time I ordered from Timu and I'm not disappointed with them. So hopefully we have the same results with these. Oh, this is a tiny bracelet. This is like too tiny for my wrist. Again, I really just need to uh, read the measurements of things before I order. That clasp looks also like it would break in a second. Will it fit my wrist? Moment of truth. I think, oh, oh, okay. My wrist is tiny. So the cord itself, that feels like it it's strong enough to be worn, but this tiny little clasp here. Well, I mean, I'm tugging on it. Tugging on it pretty well. It's holding up. All right, all right, not disappointed. For a cute little dainty bracelet like this, for like a dollar, not bad, not bad. Next up, let's see. Here is what it looks like versus what the listing was. Let's see if it fits my fingers. I gotta buy myself my own rings because, you know, I don't have one from Grant yet, so. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. Oh, no, okay, that's, that's the finger it goes on. All right, next ring. You guys just get to tediously watch me try to open packages. Okay, this one fits. It's nice. Let's see how long this black coloring lasts. Probably not that long, but again, for the amount of money I paid for it, it'll give me the usage I want for it. I think this is the last ring. Size seven. Did I order a size seven? Did they send me the wrong size? This is, maybe I meant to order it so I could wear it on this finger. Actually, this does sound right. Okay, now it's all coming back to me. It looks cute there. Just little fashion jewelry. Then this necklace, uh, I'm gonna do the same test. I'm gonna pull, see how that holds up. Not bad, not bad. Okay, I have faith, I have faith. This does look like a pretty like dinky little chain right here, but seems to be holding up at a, I don't know, moderate force test. I'm not gonna, I don't know, try to intentionally break it, but I'm sure I could if I tried, if I hoped it, but that's also the same with any piece of jewelry that I own. So I like it. Last thing that I wanna show you guys is this ingenious thing that I discovered for pants that don't quite fit in the waist, but fit everywhere else. This is one set of clamps. These hooks right here, you pin them in with two of these on your jeans, and then you clamp whatever width of the waist you need to like cinch in on your jean to make it so it fits better. I probably should have gotten two pairs of these so I could wear one on each side, but uh, I'm gonna test these out with some jeans that I have where the waist is just a little too big, but everything else fits, and I will let you know. That is it for today's Timu unboxing. Thank you for joining me, and thank you for liking and subscribing. Except now I always remember to say it because I forget to say it. Let me know what you want me to review next, and I will see you next time. Thanks for being here.